If you're looking for a healthy hair regimen that works for you, then you're going to want to stick around and listen to the six habits that I changed to grow long, thick, healthy hair. Number six is my favorite, but controversial. Isn't it, Milo? Hi guys, I'm Miss Laura the 11 and as I mentioned in the intro, I'm going to be talking about the six habits that I changed to grow my hair thick, long and healthy. Number one being less heat or no heat. I have eliminated heat. This is a heatless blowout. I found that using heat consistently thinned out my hair, but not only that, created heat damage. I've got some strands in the front where they are permanently damaged. Some people may call this heat trained. However, I call it damaged. I'm not impressed with it. The rest of my hair is full and voluptuous, and that's the way I would like it to stay. I started to notice my hair became thicker and longer and fuller without heat when I did a challenge that was to go a year without using heat. Within the first three months, I noticed a tremendous tremendous change and that was it. So I've got a little confession. I haven't actually eliminated it altogether. However, I have really, really decreased the amount of heat that I use. So what I tend to do is if I'm going to blow dry my hair, it will only be when I am straightening my hair, which is usually every six months to once a year. So that is number one. So number two, the habit that I changed was to use more protective styling. I wasn't a fan of protective styling because I thought for one, cameras made my head look small. I could wear wash and goes all the time. However, I did get a lot of breakage in wash and goes. My hair was growing. It wasn't as thick as it is now. I found that when I just left my hair alone, stop touching your hair. I don't advise those to leave your hair in a protective style, i.e. came row, for more than two weeks. But guys, to get over the small headed came row styles, what I've been doing is wearing my wigs. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see my wig styles that I've been using and I love experimenting with the wigs. So that's number two. The third habit that I changed was to start moisturizing my hair a lot more frequently. Now, when my hair is in a protective style, because that's the usual style that I seem to do these days, prior to me moisturizing my hair, I didn't touch my hair. I thought if my hair was in a protective style and I left it alone, that was it. My hair's perfect, good to go. The oils in my hair will moisturize it. No, 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 no. What I didn't realize is that I was damaging my hair. When I took my hair out of the cameras for the duration of a total of four months, so I didn't have them in four months straight, but I had them in four months, took them out, had about a week off, and then I put them back in cane rows. I realized by the end of the four months, I had damaged my roots. They were growing tough and crispy. If you saw the video with the As I Am castor oil water spray, that was a lifesaver. I sprayed it on my hair and I sealed it in. With my cane rows in, that was perfect. So with my hair being like this, what I'll do is I'll spritz my hair at night and then I will plait it up and have a heatless blowout yet again. Okay, so that's how I keep my hair moisturized at night and that's how I keep my hair moisturized together. Number four, I started deep conditioning a lot more. Deep conditioning, guys, I know it can be off-putting. It's very time consuming. Don't feel like you see a result straight away, which by rights, you don't necessarily. It takes time, it's a process, guys. So the more you deep condition, the more you see the change with your hair, especially if you're gonna straighten your hair. As I mentioned in my last video, I definitely saw a change in my hair when I straightened my hair from deep conditioning for a few months. My ends were nice and sleek, no frizzy, no fluffy ends, beautiful. Also guys, it helps with moisture retention. You're gonna to wanna to deep condition your hair. I know it's not fun. If you don't wanna do it for long, guys, what I do recommend is deep conditioning with heat. So for me, this cuts the time in half. So I either deep condition without heat, put my deep conditioner on, put my shower cap on, sit with it for about an hour or two, and then I'll wash that out. However, if I want to cut the time in half, as I mentioned, I will deep condition with heat. So I will put on my shower cap and then I will put on my thermal cap. My thermal cap is a microwavable cap because I've got low porosity hair. It heats the hair strands, allowing the moisture of the deep conditioner to seep into my strands. Voila. So number five, I had to simplify my regimen. As mums, we just have a really busy schedule. So therefore guys, we need to simplify it. We can't take the whole day or whole weekend even. I had to reduce the amount of combs, products even. And if you saw in my last video, I did show you my wash day. It seemed quite compact. However, guys, it works. It's not the whole day. It's nice and squished down into maybe half a day, maybe even half a morning. So guys, as I said, number five was simplifying my hair regimen. And that was the habit that I changed. Now, before I get on to number six, you might want to go ahead and subscribe now, like this video, turn on your notification. So let's get on to number six, the controversial one. The one that we've been waiting for. Hair grease, guys. Yes, hair 
grease i love it hair grease is like marmite you either love it you either hate it now i'm not about to start a debate about hair grease you do have the side for hair grease or you have the side against hair grease now i am for hair grease we have been misinformed yes i'm saying it with my chest we have been misinformed about hair grease back in the day when it was used prior to the natural hair community hair grease was used as a moisturizer that is wrong guys do not use hair grease as a moisturizer it is a sealant you have been using it wrong yes you have this is how i've got my hair to flourish i've got my hair to get thicker and longer because i use hair grease i'm not gonna deny it i'm not gonna hide it i love my hair grease okay so with that being said hair grease is not a moisturizer back in the day i used to use hair grease a little bit but my hair was very dry i couldn't understand why hair grease wasn't moisturizing my hair but it's because it's a sealant you put the moisture in your hair i.e h2o or a leave-in conditioner water-based product and then you seal it in with the hair grease now what i will say guys if your hair feels greasy you have used too much now the other thing about hair grease just one more point it seems a bit controversial because of the ingredients you know you've got the mineral oils you've got the petroleum jelly anyway guys to conclude the habits i have now frequently moisturizing hair frequently deep conditioning simplifying your regimen finding out what works for you and last but not least hair grease you don't have to try it. I'm just letting you know my six habits that I changed, okay? So if there's anything in this video that you want to incorporate into your regimen, then you can. If there's any questions you have, then you can ask me down below in the comment section. And if you want to see my wash day, I think you should click on the video now. Anyway, guys, that is it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.